I'm Edmund, and I'm here to tell you what life was like in the High Weald when I was here. Every year we would go on a journey with our pigs, when the giant oaks of the High Weald were heavily laden with their acorns. Let me tell you about my journey. My brother Alfred, our cousin Edward and I set off from our family settlement high on the North Downs near Wye. It was a busy time for all getting ready to take their pigs for the autumn acorn feast. Many jobs had to be done on the family farm before we left. I pick up my trusty staff. It's made from the ash tree, so it will protect me from any bad spirits that may be roaming in the woods. Down the hill we go, caroling with excitement as we drive the pigs deep into the woods. We always go the same way. The path is beaten in well. It's the way my father showed me when I was young and his father told him. Our family have followed the same route for years, always along the same tracks, over the same hills. It's lucky the way is so familiar as we have to keep a close eye on our pigs and keep them moving. They like to snuffle along and dig up roots and bulbs as they walk. We don't walk very fast, but that's of no matter. There's no hurry in the woods. Night falls and we set up camp for the night. I'm in charge of getting the fire going with my fire steel and we cook a good meal. Edward and Alfred are busy making a rough pen from branches to keep the pigs from wandering off. We take it in turns to look over the pigs through the night and to keep watch for wolves and bears. After two more days of droving, we're in the hilly ground of the High Weald and nearly at the den of our family. We stop at the sacred glade with its pool fed by a stream of red water. This was it, the journey's end. The pigs are happy rooting around and we lie down on our backs under the shade of the giant oak and look up at the clouds crossing the clear blue sky through the branches of the trees. This is the last rest we shall have for a time as there's much to be done. Firewood has to be stacked before it gets dark and most important of all, the night enclosure for the pigs has to be made secure. Soon the days fall into an easy pattern. We tend the camp and take it in turns to beat the trees to make sure the pigs find enough acorns and beech mast. Our families would be most unhappy if we drove back pigs skinnier than when they came. We've heard that some people are not going back this year. They are staying in their den in the woods all year round. <laughs> the gods help them. When the cold weather comes, we'll be going home with our fattened pigs. So the next time you wander down a sunken path with steep sides, think of me and my pigs. And when you come across a place with den in its name, pause a while and think how it would have been whilst I was there. <laughs>